In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you a simple way that you can send and receive your transactions within the Trust Wallet using unstoppable domains. For more information, please check out everybithelps.co.uk. If you're a Trust Wallet user, you can now use all 10 unstoppable domain endings to transfer your crypto meaning that you can now replace long, complicated wallet addresses with your own, such as the likes of everybithelps.crypto or .wallet when you're sending and receiving cryptocurrencies. This really simplifies transactions for those that are worried about human error and entering in an incorrect address, potentially losing all your crypto. And they state that with the Trust Wallet, you can now send and receive over 160 cryptocurrencies and tokens as easily as sending an email. Although other wallets or apps do also support unstoppable domains, what makes this unique for the Trust Wallet is that they are the first app to support all 10 domain endings, which include the likes of .x, NFT, Wallet, Crypto, Coin, Bitcoin, DAO, 888, Blockchain and .zil. So now Trust Wallet users can pick any unstoppable domain ending to easily transact with crypto as they navigate web free. So let's take a look at how this all works. And if you're interested in purchasing an unstoppable domain, or if you don't already have the Trust Wallet, I've got links in the summary below that you can use, as well as complete tutorials. First up, we'll head across to Unstoppable Domains. Where you can see from here that I've got a domain named everybithelps.crypto. But as I said, there are 10 different domain endings that you can now choose from. And these are just one-time purchases, and there's no renewal fees to pay. And when we manage, you can add addresses for the likes of Bitcoin, Ethereum and Litecoin, and you can add more coins into here by simply starting to type in the ticker. I'm just going to show you now how to add an address so that when someone types in everybithelps.crypto, this is where your crypto will go to. In this example, I'm going to be setting up my Litecoin address so that my funds go across to my Ledger hardware wallet. So if I head across to Ledger Live, then click on to receive. And if I copy my Litecoin address, I can then paste that address into Unstoppable Domains. And any Litecoin funds that I send across to everybithelps.crypto will then go across to that address. And you'll need to confirm that address entry with your associated wallet. So let's take a look at the Trust app now and see how we can send our funds to our domain. I'm going to be sending Ethereum from Trust to this wallet address. So if I open up the Trust app from my mobile device and from the wallet, if I choose Ethereum and send. This time, instead of having to copy and paste a long-winded address and panic that I might have missed a number or a character, I can simply enter in my domain, which is everybithelps.crypto. And as you can see here, that's got a tick beside it, meaning that it's verified. And that's an address that I can easily share with others too, just like an email address or a website address. And the same process will obviously apply to any domain ending that you're using here or any crypto that you're sending. Once I've entered in that address, as usual, I'll need to enter in the amount that I'd like to send. And any time that I send transactions to a new address, I really recommend sending test amounts first, just to make sure you haven't made a mistake before you go ahead and send all of your crypto. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to click on to max. Then we'll choose next. And I'll need to confirm my transaction. And my funds will then be sent across to my connected unstoppable domain address that I've just entered. Once the transaction is complete, you'll see that the funds have now reached my wallet. And also onto my hardware wallet. But that's how easy it is to now use unstoppable domains with the Trust Wallet. And I hope that you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.